I want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports tonight. We're going to talk about Aja Wilson's anti-white racism towards Kelsey Plum, Caitlin Clark, and Paige Buckners. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on that video. I would like to talk to you about the video that we all saw of Aja Wilson's anti-white hatred towards white players. When she said what she said to Kelsey Blum, she humiliated her, she insulted her, but this is how a privileged black WNBA star who went to a private school, who's the best player in the WNBA, feels about her fellow white players in the WNBA. She has disdain for Caitlin Clark. She has disdain for Paige Buckners, who's not even in the WNBA. And you saw the way she treated Kelsey Blum, her teammate, as though her white privilege overshadowed her greatness. This is the woke mentality that has been taught in the public schools, high schools, and the universities, and you see it spread all over the WNBA. Everybody is a victim. She's a victim because she's black. She's a victim because she's lesbian. Everybody's homophobic, transphobic, everything you can think of. But the one thing they don't like is white. They don't like heterosexuality and it seems like this is what might end the WNBA their refusal to accept Caitlin Clark as their star in a pivotal moment in WNBA history where they can start to explode start to become a legitimate league that doesn't need help from the NBA but when you have your best player saying this, being caught on video, humiliating her teammate because she's white, and she has said nothing or did anything towards you. The problem I have with all these DeAndre, King, <coughs> DeAndre Carrington, Kennedy, Aja Wilson, nobody has violated them in the WNBA. Their problem is, is they, they feel as though they deserve to be stars. But you don't get to pick who a star. The fans pick. And if they pick Caitlin Clark, if they pick Paige Buckners, you should be okay with it. In the NFL, in the NBA, and in other sports, players... Don't get angry like this. But it seems like these women are willing to burn the WNBA down to prove a point that we don't want Caitlin Clark. We don't want her fans. We don't want Paige Buckner. We don't like Kelsey Blum. We just don't like white girls at all. And this is the problem. With the WNBA. This is why you have Stephen A. Smith. Shay Shay. Charles Barkley. LeBron James. All of them coming together saying. That these women. Are making a huge mistake. In promoting the game. And elevating. Kate Caitlin Clark. And elevating the sport. They refuse to do it. They have so much anger inside of them that they don't see the business part of the sport in which Caitlin Clark helped them get a new contract, helped them with more TV revenue, all the things that they need to be a financially stable league. These women refuse to do it. They would rather burn the house down. And that's what Aja Wilson is doing. She's a very disturbed woman. But most of these women, after watching them for a whole year, are very disturbing. And I can see why 
nobody is watching the WNBA playoffs because they're tired of the attitudes, they're tired of the wokeness, they're tired of being talked down to. All they want to do is watch them play basketball and play fair. I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.